Hello guys and welcome to this brand new trip report on this channel, LM Trip Reports. This video is going to focus on Farnborough International Air Show and what's been happening whilst this air show has been going on. So Farnborough International Air Show is a week-long biennial event that combines a major trade exhibition for the aerospace and defence industries with also a public air show at the end. The event is held in mid-July in even-numbered years at Farnborough Airport in Hampshire, United Kingdom. It is set like that to coordinate with Le Bourget Paris Air Show, which occurs on odd-numbered years. So next year, Paris Air Show will occur. Some of the aircraft who participate in this year's Farnborough Air Show include the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, Boeing 727, the Bristol Blenheim, the AV-8B Harrier of the Spanish Air Force, the Airbus A350-1000, the F-16, the Sopwith triplane and much more. Farnborough Air Show is dedicated to giving people an extraordinary time to experience that of the air as well as that of the ground in static displays too. I attended Farnborough Air Show in order to get the best out of the day. I've never attended the event before and wanted to give an all-rounded experience on what you can expect from the air show. On display are some of my pictures that I have caught during my days at Farnborough Air Show in a little slideshow type format in order to show this. Coming up very shortly, you'll see the Highfly Airbus A380. The Highfly A380 originally started out life as an Airbus A380 of Singapore Airlines, registered 9 Victor Sierra Kilo Charlie. It is now operated by Highfly, who are a wet leasing company. This means that they lease not only the aircraft, but also the cabin crew, as well as a pilot and a co-pilot for airlines who need extra crew and extra aircraft to be operated, due to certain reasons. Some pictures are being shown now of this livery. It was painted in coral reef livery. This is something that Highfly have a big interest in with the Merpuri Foundation being a part of this. You can see the sheer size of the aircraft right here, an absolute wonder to how it made it to Farnborough this year, but somehow the A380 always manages to complete its flight successfully, something that people would rather defy. Going on board the Airbus A380 was a true magical moment. I've never been on board the top deck of an Airbus A380, only the bottom deck of an Emirates Airbus A380. So this was a big moment for me. As you can see, the pictures here are showing that the tours lasted between 2 and 4 p.m. However, this did go a little bit over um, simply because the demand was so high for people to go on the Airbus A380. As you can see, the queue is very long. And yes, I did have to wait between one and two hours in order to board. That's a lot of time. Anyway, the footage now has been taken from my GoPro. So here we are waiting to line up and board the plane. The wing sizes are absolutely huge. Uh, as you can see, the plane is absolutely insanely big uh, with its double deck and four massive uh, General Electric engines. Uh, these are Rolls-Royce versions though in these uh, on this plane. So here we are about to board the aircraft. Um, some of my mates behind you uh, just joined me for the trip there. Um, a lot of fun we had at Farnborough that day, so just wanted to experience it all together. So the, uh, the aircraft originally, as I said, started out life with Singapore Airlines. The interior is still in Singapore Airlines trim, so there will be a lot of similarities between that and Singapore Airlines on this aircraft. Uh, the exterior has been uh, re recolored, repainted to represent that of um, the coral reefs dying uh, and the uh, Merpuri Foundation trying to get that back um, to people as a message so that people understand um, that the oceans are dying and that help is needed. Uh, so there's a little bit of information there about uh, the A380 and what it offers and how Highfly operate it, which airlines they're partnered with. Uh, they have big partners with TAP Portugal with a base in Lisbon. They also have a base in Malta, Luca Malta Airport, uh, and that's where this aircraft is originated and that's um, part of a subsidiary airline, Highfly Malta, which is what this aircraft is registered with. Nine Hotel Mike India Papa is the registration of this specific Airbus A380 today. So as we're just waiting to board, you cannot you literally cannot see any further than the top of the plane. It is absolutely insanely big. The scale of the aircraft when you're at the bottom is just beyond anything you've ever imagined. Um, I've never 
ever had the opportunity to board an Airbus A380 this way. I've always wanted to. I've always boarded them from jet bridges and that just takes the sense out of how big they are. Um, this really does give the scale, um, you know, just shows it off and how massive the aircraft is. Um, so here's one of the Airbus representatives um, allowing us onto the aircraft and as we um, start our ascent up the stairway uh, to board the aircraft you'll see actually how insanely big this aircraft is. Uh, as well as those huge Rolls-Royce engines there uh, that will power you all the way to wherever you're going. Um, the double decks there shown clearly with the, uh, with the new livery applied onto the aircraft. So as we go inside of the aircraft, saying hello to the lovely cabin crew that welcome you on board the plane, you can see that the, uh, the trim is very similar to that of Singapore Airlines. In fact, it hasn't been changed um, actually since Singapore Airlines uh, got rid of the aircraft um, and unfortunately the lease ran out with Singapore Airlines but uh, I like the way that they've kept the trim it is a very nice aircraft to fly in it's got a lot of seats a lot of space uh, the windows are absolutely insanely big you. so you can always uh, ensure that you have a, a good time with the aircraft so all of this at the bottom deck as you can see is economy uh, I'm not sure if any of this used to be premium economy I understand that 9 Victor Sierra Kilo Charlie was an example of the 4 class Airbus A380 that Singapore Airlines operated. They also had 3 class layouts. This is specifically a 4 class layout uh, as you can see there. So we're just going to go upstairs. This is my first time upstairs in Airbus A380. And uh, we're just going to head right through here. This is some more economy right here just stated um, with some of the uh, IFE systems here. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, a lot of promotion tags put there by Airbus just to promote the aircraft. Uh, the IFE systems were quite old on this aircraft. They actually haven't been replaced to the original ones that were put in when the aircraft was first delivered. Um, if you remember, Singapore Airlines were the first flyer of the Airbus A380, so these systems are quite old. This here is the business class area of High Flies Airbus A380 uh, with the old Singapore Airlines seats. Um, they're really spacious, really big, and um, provide you with a lot of space for these flights. There's a lot of them too, so don't worry about them selling out. There's a lot of these aircraft uh, and a lot of these seats. This is a uh, showcasing the fully flat bed seat layout that you would get on the um, uh, on the A380 if you chose to fly with them. Here's some more uh, business class. Here's one of the pilots actually. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, he was uh, very impressed with uh, all of my equipment that I had. I actually had two cameras on me as well as my GoPro. So I have my filming camera there, like I've stated, and I've also got um, I've also got my professional DSLR that I didn't use on this uh, on this occasion. So there you saw the dinner table um, set up there. Very nice, and that is the Singapore Airlines first class interior that does still look a treat. I would wouldn't mind to fly to New York or wherever or Singapore Shangi on that and as we descend downstairs um, just on your left hand side as you exit the aircraft is the first class lounge uh, of the aircraft so there's the first class uh, first class areas in there uh, they were pretty quick to want us to get off the plane unfortunately you couldn't really spend much time on the aircraft um, and I really did enjoy my time uh, being able to um, being able to tour the aircraft um, one of high flies uh, Airbus A380s, they're going to have more than one in their fleet, so this is just the first of many. Um, but a uh, real big treat to be able to explore this aircraft for one of the first times uh, ever, really, and be able to do the trip report on it. Anyway, I really do hope you've enjoyed this uh, this mini trip report. If you have, please do leave a like, uh, and do hit the subscribe button at the bottom. Uh, any comments, uh, I would be more than happy to answer. Uh, that is one of the best things about this. Anyway, yeah, have a great rest of your day, guys, and uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.